well, 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 a lot of the numbers are starting to come out and trickle out um, on the live gay side of the Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalev rematch where Ward, I believe, stopped him in the eighth round um, in a great fight. You know, um, you know, I think a million people, almost a million people tuned in for the uh, rematch. Uh, not the rematch for the uh, rebroadcast of the rematch on HBO the following weekend. This is your boy CJ Goodfellow with the Boston Clinic. Shout out to the LDBC. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of funny. Um, you know, I'm gonna put the article on a link to to the you know to the article I got. And uh, it's a basically an article on what Kevin uh, Lioli said on Yahoo Sports about the fight and uh, breaking the numbers that he broke. Um, basically, this fight, let's get into it. Um, like I said, it did 125 to 130 pay-per-view buys. It was 160 pay-per-view buys for the first fight. Main events led that promotion. Now, before I get into the rest of the numbers, it was said that conspiracy theorists had on that um, Andre Ward's team poorly promoted this fight because Sergey Kovalev didn't have a guarantee in his purse. 75% of his purse or something like that came from the live gate and the pay-per-view profit that it turned. It didn't turn a profit. They made barely enough uh, revenue profit to to barely cover Andre Ward's $6.5 million guaranteed purse. So basically that means Kovalev gets peanuts. I guesstimated that Kovalev would take home a hard 500000 I can't remember what I said, but I think about 500000 before taxes, promoter fees, and paying all his trainers and stuff, it might be less than that. He might be only bringing home something like 50k after, after everything is taken out. And I must say, all the racist shit that he said in the past, in the past, building up to this fight and talking all that shit that he said and taking all the racist shit up and down, uh, no fighter should be treated like that. He put his life on the line. He has a wife and a kid, so uh, I believe he did get rid of main events, rightfully so. They fucked him with no Vaseline. Shout out to Ice Cube, but. Uh, the first fight pulled in three point three point three million live gate. I think this fight said like two point five or two point seven, so it fell short. And also, they had to give away four thousand sh- tickets um, away for this fight. They gave four K tickets away. I think they only sold like six hundred and six thousand and six hundred um, tickets. It was at a smaller arena. The Mandolin Bay only hosts twelve thousand. The first time, um, the Mandolin Bay. Uh, not the Madeline Bay, the T-Mobile Arena, it held uh, 20000 for a boxing event. Madeline Bay this time held 12000 They sold 10000 tickets for the first fight. This fight, like I said, the buzz in Las Vegas was bleak to none. This fight only sold 6,000 tickets, 6,600 tickets, which is just barely above half of the Madeline Bay's, um, uh, you know, uh, limit, you know, for a boxing fight. And also they gave away another 4K tickets to max the 10K that they did the first fight. But I believe they sold a full 10,000 tickets the first fight. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Kovalev got a raw deal. Andre Ward told him as soon as he signed the contract, you got a raw deal. That's why you should always have your own people sign it. His manager should be fired along with his promoter, which I already think is done, main events. They lost their ace fighter, you know, to bad business. And uh, Rock Nation made sure they took care of that guy, even though they took a loss in the end. And, you know, you know, hopefully Kovalev can learn from the bullshit. You can't trust all these guys, you know. And um, he got fucked raw, you know. All the shit he did in the past, I mean, maybe you just caught up to him and maybe conspiracy, uh, man, is right that Rock Nation poorly promoted this fight so he couldn't make uh, money or make a profit turn this, you know, with his person. He definitely did get a um, shitty end of the stick and he got knocked out. So that's the icing on the cake. So shout out to everybody. We gone.